Hi everyone, in this short video I will talk about an element of the CFC programming language which is called Composer. Uh, I will explain it through an example, therefore I will create a new project, call it CFC underline Composer 01, and select the programming language as CFC, as it's already selected by default and now I have uh, the project opened here with the main program which is called PLC underline PRG double clicking on it we have the elements of the CFC programming here and in this video I will talk about this composer so composer is indeed used in order to create the structures to, to attach different elements of an structure to each other and form the variable in the form of the structure. So as the aim of this example is to define a function which receives two different kind of variables, let's say integer and string, and then inside it it adds a given value to the integer value and concatenates the uh, let's say any string to the original one and creates the new output in the form of the structure. So let's start by defining a new variable of the type st structure. I will just remove it for, for, for now and then by right clicking on the application, we will add a data unit type to our project. Add object, and from here we, we need to select this one. This is how we can uh, declare the structure type variables. I will call it structure var, or maybe in the short format str var. It's of type structure, so I just add it. And here for our structure variable we need to determine different fields that we have for it so as I mentioned I would like to have uh, an integer part for that so I call it i var or maybe in this form integer variable of type int and the uh, string uh, part for the variable and I call it s var of type string uh, with the default value of like hello cfc in this way we have a new kind of variable which is called str var and it has two fields the integer part and the string part. Uh, now I would like to add a new function. So on the program tree, right clicking on the application and selecting add object. Here we can, in order to uh, add the function block, in order to define and add a new function block, I, check, I can click on the P add POU or program organization unit and determine a name for that. I will call it my func and it's a function block as the implementation language, programming language, I will uh, use the structured text. Okay, now here we can implement the function. Uh, but here you can see that in the variable declaration part we need we can determine the input variables the output variables and the internal variables that we may have for the for the function so as I already mentioned the aim of this function is to add some integer value to the integer input of the structure and uh, concatenate the hello CFC some default string in it to the string part of the input variable. Okay. 
so therefore we will have some input variables in the where on our line input we need to determine the uh, the input variable which is of type of the type of str where so here I will call it func in of type s tr where as the output variable I would like to to uh, okay so we can have both of the variables separated from each other indeed as the output variable I will define some integer variable f out i out type integer and f out s of type c. and here we don't uh, we may use a given variable or, or not but for now I can or maybe yeah I can uh, declare a string variable with some default value such as cfc01 so now we need to implement the, the function f out i is our integer output so I can just determine the value for that and the value for this will be even as the in value of the the integer value that we have from the input variable the input variable is this structure so this structure but integer variable plus some given value that given value indeed can be determined here as well I will call it i where of type integer with some default value. So I will add this this value to the integer part of the structure variable and then put it as the as one of the output variables. At the same time for the string output variable we can have the in the string part of the input structure that is where this time so what do you want to do you wanted to concatenate this string with some string which with, with some default string which we have here so for that there's a, a comment or function in the structure text which is called concat we can concatenate this string with the s -ref. all right and put it into the output indeed this should be the s f out s Perfect. so we concatenate this string with the other one which is some uh, default string and then put it into the output of the function okay so that's all that we need for this function now if you go to the main uh, main program of the CFC that we have now we can implement all what we have in mind we can insert the box and for that box we can determine that it is the function that we have implemented let's wait for the input assistant so here we have my func and then we add it to our project press the enter and define it as one variable And now we need to declare some 
some variables like the int pair of type integer with some uh, default value of 10 and maybe str where of the string some uh, default value of and we can also create some output uh, some other variables like int where 2 int where 0 2 type int and str where 0 2 of type string all right, so here we can, in order to provide the inputs, we can insert two inputs. One of them will be our inter of type integer, and the other one will be our string where, str where of type string. Each one has a sum value. This one. Uh, the default value for int where is 10 and the default value for str where is hello. Now we need to use a composer because the input of the function, the, the input variable type of the function is of type structure str where that we have declared and we cannot connect these two variables directly to the function block. That's why we need to use the composer. And if I bring the composer here, we need to determine the, the type of the structure. So this is the str that we have uh, declared already for that. And now we will have two inputs, i where and s where for that. We can easily connect the int variable to the i where and str where to the s where. And then the output of the composer can be connected to the input of the function block. And for the outputs, we can in insert two output elements. The first one can be associated with the int where 0, 2, because it will be the integer variable. And the second one with str where 0, 2. And we need to uh, connect this to the outputs of the function. So here we have one integer output. We can connect it to there, and we have one string output which can be connected to it. So this should be int where 0, 2. Okay. We can save it, and we need to set the online to the simulation. And now I can log in. and run it. So here you see what we have for the variables. int where is 10, str where is hello. Then they are combined with each other, have created a stri the structure variable, which is fed into the function block. And then at the output of the function block, we have the 15 as the integer output and hello cfc01 as the string output. So if I, for example, here, if I change the value of integer input from 10 to 15 pressing F7 and Alt F7 I will have it here 15 and then 5 is added to it so we have 20 as the output of the function block at the same time this 5 which is the one of the parameters of the function block can be changed into 12 for example now we will have it here 15 plus 2 which gives us 27. So this is how you can use the composer in the CFC uh, programming mode in order to form and form a structure type variable from its components. Here we have one component as the integer and our component as the string and with composer we are able to put them together and create the structure variable that we need. Uh, okay, so that's all for this example. 
uh, I hope with this you will you have learned how to use the composer in your CFC program. Thanks for watching and see you next time.